So you're looking for a job, but you're not sure whether you should work with a recruiter. Stay tuned for my tips. Hey folks, this is Kim. Thanks for visiting livemorenow.net. For many years, I've worked as a recruiter. I've worked in a sales role at uh, staffing agencies. Uh, and I've also worked in HR as a corporate recruiter where I often used staffing agencies to fill my openings. And I've also worked with recruiters to help me find another job. So the short answer is, to whether or not I think you should work with a recruiter is obviously yes. But if you've never worked with a recruiter before, then I want you to take the following six steps into consideration. Starting with number one, you should never ever pay a recruiter. So no matter what somebody is pitching to you, you need to walk away. I have never ever run across a circumstance where this would make sense. So again, and that relationship with that, whoever that person may be. Number two, take into consideration who the recruiter's customer actually is and it is not you. The person who pays the bills is their client who have the job openings and it's usually a certain percentage of your salary. So please keep in mind that a recruiter might have one or 10 or 20 openings for different customers and if you fit the bill for one of those positions great you'll probably be sent on interviews if not then you'll you'll you won't and of course if something comes up they'll obviously send you at that point but very very rarely are recruiters actually out there making cold calls on your behalf trying to help you find a position that meets your requirements uh, so that's a that's a, a, a different a different angle that you need to look at this through that um, they're not actually out there looking for a job specifically for you they're actually helping to fill the positions for the companies that they're working with so with that in mind number three never rely solely on a recruiter a recruiter should be one resource among many you need to continue to be out there soliciting referrals from previous coworkers, bosses, teachers, friends, family, whoever, various website, websites, monster.com, indeed.com uh, for your own job search. Uh, you def like I said, a recruiter should be one resource. And along those lines, uh, a number four, a relationship with a recruiter is not exclusive. So register with several different staffing agencies. As I mentioned, each staffing agency usually has different relationships with different companies. So while uh, company A might be looking for uh, um, uh, people to fill positions at one of their clients, let's say XYZ Corporation, uh, the next staffing agency is might be looking for uh, people for the ABC Corporation. So again, spread things out. You um, don't need to feel like you have to be loyal to, to one particular staffing agency or one particular recruiter. Number five, uh, and this number five applies to anybody in the middle of a job search, not necessarily anybody ne specifically working with a recruiter. But before meeting with a recruiter, you need to set realistic expectations. Figure out what your salary requirements are, um, what sort of overall package you're looking for. I say package because your salary is not the only consideration. You need to look at things like your benefits, paid time off, opportunities for growth, um, things like that. The location uh, is gonna play a big role for probably for you. It, you know, just everything that's important to you, you need to look at as a package. And then also consider your minimum salary requirements. Um, this way you're prepared when you walk in to meet with a recruiter in case, you know, if your salary requirements are 28,000, that's your minimum that you need to pay the bills. Uh, and they try to sell you on this awesome position that pays slightly less than that. Um, you're, you're really gonna have to decide, is that $28,000 figure my real minimum? Because you don't wanna get suckered into something that's not actually gonna be right for you. Finally, uh, number six, take your appointment with the recruiter seriously. I can't tell you how many times I met with candidates who showed up inappropriately dressed, uh, didn't show up at all, um, or late, or, or whatever. Keep in mind that this person is going to be recommending you. They're basically gonna be putting their reputation on the line with their clients, and they are gonna be less inclined to do so if, if you show up wearing flip-flops or you don't take the time seriously. So make sure you're dressed professionally, you've got your resume in hand, and you're ready to go. If you need help with any of those things, building your resume, answering interview questions, um, I have a whole playlist 
that's devoted to that type of stuff. So there you go, folks. I hope you find that helpful. Those are my six tips for working with a recruiter. Like I said, I definitely would recommend that you look into it. And uh, recruiters should be um, just some of the pieces of the puzzle as you're looking for your next position. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for visiting livemorenow.net.